The world needs to be documented. There are many untold stories out there. We are all humans and we need to come together. This is how the 24 hour project started. As an idea to document humanity around the world during 24 hours. I'm on my way to New York, the city where Renzo Grande, originally coming from Peru, lives. Taking advantage of a short layover in my standby period, I'm able to fulfill my great wish to meet the man behind the 24-hour project. I'm so lucky that at the last minute, Renzo could take off a couple of hours from work to meet me. Hardly without any preparations and with only limited time, I tried to document as much as possible of our encounter. We had some beautiful conversations and we went back to the place where the 24-hour project all began seven years ago. Instagram. Oh wow. Because that yeah. is a long, long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And I am very, very curious why you posted this picture and what was up in your mind at that moment. So do you um, remember? I kinda do. So I use photography as as a therapy tool. Yeah. Right? We all have multiple personal issues so this was my way out right whether at work right relationship is my, my way out whenever I walk out it's just me and trying to embed those emotions I um, I'm like a very introvert person I don't share my feelings with anyone I just keep it for myself so I use the visual narrative to tell them yeah. so when I fight when I find things that relate to me, that's what I thought about. So that's that what that was. Um, walking on the street in a winter morning and finding that. Yes. Right? Become your dream. Yes. I haven't seen that in a long time. Wow. Nice. And I am very curious if your feelings were already there to develop this project. They if were you not. were already orientating. Um, no. My feelings have always been into shooting something yes. that motivates somebody else. Okay. Not not me. That, that's my goal right there. Yes. For, for it to make someone else feel the same way that I was feeling. Yeah. So that yeah. we can relate. It's your, it's your way to communicate. Correct. Yeah. Renzo started his visual documentation in 2010. During his one hour lunch breaks, he went out with his camera to document all day street life in Manhattan. After a while, he got bored to hit the same streets over and over again. And he got curious how life would be in other cities in the world on that same day at that specific time. This was the point where he asked his friend in Los Angeles to photograph city life out there and share it with him. At this moment in 2012, the foundation for the 24-hour project was laid. It started with 65 photographers documenting multiple cities during 24 hours and bringing the world together on one single day. Soon after that, more photographers wanted to become part of it and the snowball effect started. Nowadays, the 24-hour community counts 4,880 photographers, 826 cities and 100 countries and it keeps on evolving every day. The initial thing was just to compare New York and LA. And LA, yeah. That, that yeah. was it. Yeah. Right? And then um, that first time that we were going to do it, I say like, well, let me see if other friends want to join in. And I asked, and they were like, yeah, let's give it a try. So it was just that, a group of photographers sharing their, their point of view, mm -hmm. right, throughout 24 hours. And I was like, great. Small concept, it's 
small idea. We'll see what happens. Fine. And um, and then learn as as we all do. I learned as I went through it. Right. Yes. The experience, the the motion of not sleeping and shooting, and how yeah. you learn and, and, and all. push that. yourself to these limits. Correct. Here, yeah. And then I was like, oh, this is a. a great learning tool for everybody else that is starting yeah right I admire so much the formula it's correct but it's it's a um, yeah it, it's a moving formula it's very it, it's an it's an evolving yeah. formula yeah and I think that the main ingredient is to be true to yourself yeah right like you you're true to your project to your passion yes, yes. And, and that's people can notice that's not that that's people can feel, feel it. it and that's what you do if too. you yeah. Do not love your project, then forget or, it. Or if it's only to uh, increase your income, uh, for example. If it's, if it's so for economical, correct. On this. If it's only that, people yeah. will notice. Renzo's interest and commitment to humanity began at a young age, and it persuaded him to immigrate from Peru to New York to work for the United Nations. He works full-time on promoting international cooperation and creating and maintaining international peace and security. Besides that, his entire life is dominated by one important mission, turning photography into a tool that connects people and helps others. Making the difference through photography, a theme I can relate to intensely as well. The hardest thing is the theme. The theme. What, what, what to focus it on. Yeah. And um, which NGO to help. Mm -hmm. Right? Who to support. Yeah. What what kind of, of, of what's going to be the aim. Yeah. This time it was it. Yeah. four NGOs um, that were empowering village women um, in different locations. Yes. Right? Different yes. uh, continents. Yeah. The, the theme needs to be a global global emotion that people can relate to yeah, so they can be it. part that's of it. it. That's it. So, so knowing that is like, yeah. it's a lot of work trying to, to yeah, and, and once and once the, the idea is there is make sure that the communication strategies to spread it out. Yeah, and you did right. very well this and year. And to motivate I, everyone pretty yes. much. Yes, and, and with the help of social media and, yeah. the, and your ambassador. Yeah, and, and knowing that they take the project as their own baby yeah. is for me a goal. That's yeah, amazing. That's your it, it's, it's, but it's not my project, right? It's our project. Yeah. We are doing this together. Yeah. We, we are all coming together to do this, to help these people. Yeah. Be part of us. Right? It's not be part of me. Right? Join me. No, no. Yeah. Join us. Join us. Yeah. It's, it's all of us. It's and the, and it's, it's a wave that keeps on going and moving and expanding. Yes. Yeah. It is enough. Where. And then it's, it's for everybody it's an honor to, to be part of the project and I think also with the exhibition uh, yeah, you, you, it, make it closes. It, you make it uh, possible for people that the work will be seen in a different angle it's oh, right. different than posted on Instagram yeah. you, know, yeah. you give them a yeah, platform you give them a podium yeah. stage Reyes. I'm a Mexican but I live in Hong Kong so actually I'm a Hong Konger now um, and I've been an ambassador for the 24-hour project for three years now. I could say that I am in love with the 24-hour project. I think that Renzo made a ripple effect when he started this because out of himself he started sharing this and it's now all over the world, right? It's, I feel like it's a bit of street photography without borders. And it's getting to all of us, regardless of the gear you have. If it's a big, expensive camera, if it's your own you know, mobile phone. And uh, it made it accessible for everybody. One thing that I enjoy a lot about working as a team is that we're all small snowflakes making something very big, right? Bigger than ourselves. One by itself, they could not do it. It's, it has to be a group thing. The project started seven years ago. Yeah. Right. So imagine seven years, the amount of technology that we had back then. Yeah. It was back on the iPhone 4 era, yeah. iPhone 3, iPhone 4. Right. You wanted to be part of the project. You, you just needed what you have. Yeah. Whatever you have is fine. Yeah. And we struggled through it. I struggled 
taking photos at night with an iPhone 4. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. But then, but then you get to realize that there is no perfect camera. There is no perfect tool. No. All of them have hiccups. Limitations. Limitations. Yeah. Yeah. But once once you are aware of those limitations, then you can work around them. Yeah. If, yeah, if, you, if you don't have limitations, then you're like, oh, this is amazing and perfect. So, yeah. 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 And, and there was a case for iPhones back then. Well, but coming back to this I, uh, iPhone uh, story in the night, that, that pushes you to think about the light. And then you go yeah. to a place where you find the light on the street, for example. And that's how you learn about photography. سلام، فرهود نصیری هستم، سفیر پروژه 24 ساعت در ایران از که پنج سال با پروژه شده و توی پروژه شرکت کردم از که سه سال سفیر پروژه هستم توی ایران یکی از دلالی که توی پروژه شرکت میکنیم این چالش 24 ساعتیه که عکاس میره توی سخت شهر خودش و عکاسی میره این پروژه همونطور که توی دنیا داره هر سال بیشتر شناخته میشه توی ایران هم هر سال بزرگ و بزرگتر میشه و افراد بیشتری به این پروژه صحب پیدا میکنن و در شرکت میکنن و ما امسال اولین نمایشگاه به نمیرانی پروژه رو توی ایران داشتیم و از این بابت خیلی خوشحال هستیم و انشانه بتونیم سالهای بعد پروژه رو به صورت بهتری توی ایران برگزار بکنیم و قطعا این اهداف انسان دوستانه و این چالش 24 ساعت دلایلی هستش که عکاسا توی ایران و دنیا اونو دنبال میکنن و هر سال به جمع خانواده ما میپیدن مرسی ایمان yeah, they are helping because they love the project yeah. because yeah. everything is volunteer I, mean, I don't make money out of it and they know yeah. it's like I have a job like you have a job everyone has a job if you want to be part of a team then Amazing, great, right? Help us out to help somebody else. Out. Yeah. The focus is not us, it's who are helping out. Yeah. That's it. Hola, soy Maria Rosa Serrano, embajadora de Guayaquil, Ecuador, para el 24 Hour Project. Um, les cuento un poquito la experiencia que ha sido para mí vivir el 24 Hour Project por primera vez como embajadora ha sido fantástico no les podría decir menos que eso un poquito de mi historia con el 24 Hour Project es que lo conocí en el año 2015 pero no fue hasta el año 2017 cuando me inscribí, me registré ya para participar en el 2018 realmente fui más disciplinada y lo hice por 24 horas, una foto por hora y ese año fue el que apliqué para embajadora de 2019 ¿Por qué lo hice? Porque considero que las comunidades que tenemos aquí en Guayaquil, por la ciudad, por eh, toda esa motivación y todo, esto, y todo este grupo grande de personas, estamos ansiosos por dar a conocer, no solamente la ciudad, sino también para formar parte, para presentarnos al mundo y para poder contribuir con cualquier causa, con cualquier forma de apoyo. Es una responsabilidad muy grande la que tengo, la cual la recibo con, con brazos abiertos y pues seguir formando y mejorando para tener una comunidad de fotógrafos del 24 Hour Project en Guayaquil motivada y lista para apoyar siempre. So I have an idea. I would love to go with you to where it all started. Uh, not many people know where it all started. It makes the story way more interesting. Great. Let's go. Very nice to meet you, Renzo. How is it to live in New York? It's a struggle, but it's an amazing spot. Here you have to decide for yourself that you want to go out and conquer the city. Yeah. It's not that you can just, it's not that you can just go out and go by. Right? You have to push yourself to... It's a good learning experience to to keep on going and doing. I don't know if that's... Do you have a special place in New York where you find your peace and your rest? Like a, outside a park or...? Uh, Bryan Park, it's one of them. 42nd and 1st. Yes. So, what made you come and move to New York? All the way from Peru. Um, work, actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course it was a struggle. Um, for the weather as well. 
because I mean, being from Peru, we don't get that much um, snow. No. Or not as cold. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it was, it, was, um, it was hard. So how many winters do you live here? <laughs> I've been here for 16 winters. 16 winters already? Yeah. yeah. Do you miss Peru? I do. I do go every year, every time that I can. I have family yeah. in Peru yeah. and also here as well in Florida. Okay. But I, I do go to Peru once a year. Yeah. So this time that I was doing the 24 hour project, you know, one of the NGOs was looking at Peru. I saw it, yeah, in Peru. So you and could it combine amazing. this, yeah. It was amazing to go up in the mountains. Yeah. yeah. 4,000 meters. Yeah, it's right. Staying with them, living with them, and connecting with them. Yeah. That was amazing. Was yeah. Like, yeah. It was it was hard to believe that I was there. And and do you maybe see yourself going back getting off in Peru or Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. But now the idea um, the idea of giving everything up and dedicating fully to photography, right? For a cause, helping out, bringing people together, that's still there. Yeah. It is there. It's a constant daydreaming that gets me going thinking that at one point I will have more time to follow the passion. Yes, to go deeper into it, yeah. because you are in it already. Yeah, yeah. But to, to have more hands and time, yes. yeah. That's, that's a dream. That's a dream. Yeah. Follow it. I know. <laughs> follow it. <laughs> I know. I'm, but I'm, it's I'm, scary. I'm, it's difficult. I can imagine. Yeah. So Renzo, what are we going to be shooting? Because I, I, I usually am more like a portrait photographer. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't do much street photography. Uh, you're going to love this. Oh, so really? right now we are on Midtown in Manhattan, mm -hmm. 42nd Street in Lexington. Yes. And we're going to go to where um, the whole 24 hour project started. So I work around here. Um, I will take lunch breaks and I will walk for an hour. So these streets are the ones that I would walk for an hour every single day. Um, and I did it for two years straight, pretty much. So we're gonna be seeing a lot of people that are getting off work to work. Um, not that many tourists. It's not this that touristic in this side, but we'll see a lot of, of um, shadows, light, um, people on the side, people rushing, um, going to places. Things that I do before I go out and shoot. Um, think of what you want to accomplish on your walk, right? Be it that. Have a, have a small um, theme or mission. Mm -hmm. For example, right now it's um, in the morning. Um, there is a light, there is sun. I first analyze the shadow on the street to see where the sun is coming from. And then um, have a purpose. Be it that right now I'm gonna look for guys with hats, mm -hmm. for example. I'm gonna look for um, women in high heels. Right. Mm. I'm gonna look for ah, shadows. Wow, that's a good idea. I'm gonna look for um, contrast of yellow taxis. Oh, for example, yeah, and, okay, color, right. color wise. Color wise. So, yeah. so, so have something in mind, not just go out randomly and see. Oh well, let's see what I could find. No, like focus on something. Once you do, then you'll start seeing more of, of that thing that you're focusing on, mm -hmm. and now uh, your eyes will open up. Great. We're that's almost here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm into reflections today. <laughs> you see? Yeah. All oh, right. Yes. I'm gonna do shadows. Okay. How much time do we take? Just it, it is gonna be very challenged because I know you have to go to work. In ten minutes we have. Ten minutes. We have two amazing shots. Two amazing shots. Yes. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> and I will do it with my iPhone. I'll do it too. Yes. Great. Let's do iPhone. Okay. Great. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> That was a nice conversation. Cool, huh? <laughs> He's a cool guy. <laughs> Of what I'm gonna shoot, mm -hmm. I decided to do shadows. Yes. You're gonna do reflections. Yes. Right. So first, I look for the light, right, and see like where the shadow. My shadow is here right now. Yeah. So based on that, and based on what I want to accomplish, 
I decide on which side of the street I want to walk, right? A street that is full of shadows, or a, right? I, I make that decision. Yeah. So right now we're gonna cross, and we're gonna see that, test that. Yeah. Right, and based on that, I'll take my, my photos. Okay. So it's a whole decision. It knows, it's not just going on the street and seeing what happens. Yeah. Right? No, it's, you it's, think about it. Yeah. decided which way I want to walk and then I start seeing what's about to happen. Yeah. Right? So for example when we cross the street we saw this amazing tree. Now I'm seeing a guy with a hat and yeah. he's gonna come this way. Yeah. With sunglasses. Yeah. Right? Now so you to, know like, okay. So now I have to decide I have to be ready. What do I want to do from him? Right? Yeah. Do I go to the middle of the street and shoot him on this wall? Yeah. With an amazing tree. Yeah. That's an option. Mm -hmm. Do I interrupt this path so he walks here? Yeah. Right? What do I do? Do I take that phone up and do it a different angle? And as well, he's, he's trying to see a different angle. If I were to shoot him this way, it's done. Yeah. It's easy to do that. Yeah. Right? He's passing by, I'm just doing this. Yeah. Right? I'm trying to isolate what's around me, I, I moved myself away from my shadow, Yeah. because I didn't want my shadow, and then I look for a different angle. So it, it's just something, and then focusing on it, and just doing that. Yeah. Yes, yes, that one thing. This is a good one. I have to admit that I'm mostly, I'm very much looking always to faces. It's, it's yeah. You have to yeah. decide. Though. Yeah, you have to decide. So it's good to think about this. So I, I have to go for reflections now. Otherwise, I take over your assignment. Uh, let's go <laughs> nice. Manhattan, New York. We are almost there, yeah? We are um, three blocks away. Three blocks away. One last question. Where would you like to have your project in five years? Oh. How does it look like? Self-sustainable. Um, make the community own the project. Uh, have them uh, put their own ideas onto it and um, I'll be just on the back seat making sure that it happen. Wow. Let it grow. Yeah, beautiful. Look up, live free, dream big and see the world is yours the world is yours give all you have you have to give the world is yours the world is yours i tried to break free you tried to keep me bound i tried to live right you tried to keep me down but now i'm going up i'm moving higher than 
anywhere that I've been before, I'm fine, man. It's kinda crazy, like my feet are lifting off the ground. I'm touching heaven with my hands now to get the sound. But though I'm flying, my head is still level and I won't be bound down to hear the whispers of the devil. Now the future is here and it looks real bright and it can be yours too. If you set your path right, I know life can be hard.